Brace yourselves, new iPhone rumors are coming. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. The announcement of a new iPhone could be four weeks away. All Things D has a source saying Apple will talk about the next iPhone on September 10th. The timing sounds about right. The iPhone 5 was announced last year on September 12th. It's widely expected that Apple will not only upgrade the iPhone 5 with new features, but also it will reveal another cheaper plastic version of the iPhone possibly called the 5C. The C could stand for color since there have been photos of colorful outer shells posted online. As we get closer to showtime for the next iPhone, the trade-in value of older iPhones can quickly drop about 20 percent right as everyone rushes to sell their old model to get a new one. But trade-in sites like Gazelle and Nextworth will honor their current quoted buyback price for 30 days. So you could get a quote ahead of time and hold on to your phone for 30 days to get the best trade-in price. And there's no obligation to send it off if you change your mind. But if that is your plan, you might want to wait another week or so before locking in your 30-day quote. Because if Apple does announce it on September 10th, it probably won't go on sale until the week after. The 16 gig version of the iPhone 5 is going for around $300 on Gazelle and the two-year-old model, the 4S, is currently being quoted for about $200 on Nextworth. Or you can make much more money by just selling it directly on eBay. BlackBerry continues to struggle financially and it's forming a special committee to explore different business options which includes the possibility of an outright sale of its operations. But there does seem to be another phone on the way as yet another leaked video has published. This time of a model called the BlackBerry Z30 looks a lot like the A10 model that we've heard about. And you'll be seeing Iron Man star Robert Downey Jr. in commercials for HTC. The phone maker is said to be spending one billion on this new advertising campaign to pump up the brand and phone features. For many students, it's time to get geared up again for school. And for those in college, Google has launched its higher education digital textbook store. Students can buy a digital textbook or save a little moolah and just rent a copy for half the year. If you're looking for digital textbooks for younger students, Apple's iBook store has iPad friendly textbooks for grades K through 12. That's your tech news update and you can read up on more details at CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.